So now let's look into this particular question. You can always pause the video, copy, solve it, and then look into my suggestions. The question here is, a mass of 2 kg box of chocolates was checked by finding masses of 180 boxes. The results are shown in the table. Calculate the median and interquartile range. Draw a modified box and whisker graph. Correct? So, uh, we need to calculate interquartile range. As you know, interquartile range is equal to Q3 minus Q1. So, we have to calculate all the quartiles. Perfect. Since we know that we are checking 180 boxes, if you total this up, you should get 180, right? So what we will do as first step is add up uh, the frequencies and rather make a, a column for cumulative frequency. So what I'll do here is make a column for cumulative frequency. So let's add one by one the values. So we'll begin with eight. Now eight plus 15 is equal to 23 then we'll add 22 so we get 45 add 45 we get 90 so add 90 and 48 so we get 100 and so it is 8 and 8 for 13 138 and then 22 so 2 6 160 and then we get 172 adding 6 gives us 178 and adding 2 as expected 180 right so we indeed have 180 boxes so that gives you the uh, cumulative frequency now total number is 180 so these are how the calculations should be done n is 180 to find q1 we have to do n plus 1 divided by 4 right so first four fractions for four equal parts so it is 181 over 4 so that gives us so we'll do 181 divided by 4 equals to in decimal numbers 45.25 now whatever you get actually is not the answer but it's a position right basically you get position so we are looking for the element or the data element at 45.25 so 45 is here so it is more than this right so it is more than this so somewhere in between so somewhere in between we get q1 so that means average of these two values so q1 is indeed equal to we'll add 1.99 to 2.00 divided by 2 perfect and that indeed will be 1.995 so we get one point so that becomes Q1. Now to find Q2, so what is Q2? Uh, well, let's do it here. Q2 will be 181 n plus 1 divided by 2, half of this, correct? So half of this will be 90.5, right? Twice this. So 90.5 again for us will be. Uh, will be in between this this is 90 so it is here correct so q2 will be in between these two that means average of these two values so it is 2.00 plus 2.01 divided by 2 or it is 2.005 correct so 2.005 becomes the value for q2 right now let's find Q3. So to find Q3, let's use a different thing. We'll do the calculation again. Q3 will be 181 times 3 over 4, correct? Third quarter, third quarter. So 181 times 3 divided by 4 in decimals gives us 135.75. Now, 135.75 will be in this group, correct? So that is fine. So that is Q3. So for Q3, let me rewrite this value, will be 2.01. Perfect. So that becomes Q3 for us. 
Now, interquartile range is Q3 minus Q1, which is 2.01 take away 1.995. So 2.01 take away 1.995 gives you in decimals 0.015, correct? So IQR interquartile range is 0.015, okay? So that becomes IQR. So you could always create this box and whisker, but let's, because we are looking for modified, we should check for outliers also, right? So outliers on the maximum side, so let's say the maximum side will be Q3 2.01 plus 1.5 times the IQR, which is 0.015. Let's calculate this value. So which is 2.01 plus 1.5 times 0 0.015 that gives you in decimal a value which is 2.0325 is it okay so so that is the highest value that means these two are outliers perfect uh, that is on the maximum size so the minimum side will be q1 which is 1.995 take away 1.5 times 0 0.015 so let's calculate this also. We have 1.995 take away 1.5 times 0 0.015. In decimals, it is 1.9725. Okay. 1.9725 is least you could go. So that means uh, less than 1.9725 is not there. So, so that's the end of it, right? So that becomes an outlier. Okay. Now with all this, now uh, let us sketch it. So I'm not sketching, uh, sketching it to the scale. I'm just making it clear for you. So we have this where Q1 is this N, which is 1.995. Q2 is somewhere in between, which is 2.005, so 2.005, Q3 is 2.01, and on this side, you could go a maximum of 2.03, so I'm just writing 2.03 here, 2.03, and on the lowest datum side, we can go to 1.98 1.98 we do have two outliers here i mean on both the sides we have outliers so we have 1.97 and on this side we have 6 and 2 of 2.04 and 2.05 you get an idea right so, so those are the outliers for us. And let me say that this is your Q2. But when you sketch it, what you should do is kind of like this. You draw a line here, perfect. And let's say, let's say this is two, right? This is two. Then you say 2.0102. So, you know, you have to go to a scale. I kind of stretched it a bit so that I could include these numbers very clearly you see that so make a number line here kind of thing and then place the data as shown here perfectly that's my advice to you for full marks but this is an approximate diagram perfect so what you learned here is that you could find outliers i i used the formula but i didn't really write it so the outlier formula is kind of like this let me put it in a box here I hope rest of the calculations are clear for you, right? So, so the outliers were calculated like kind of uh, Q1 minus 1.5 times interquartile range. That gives you the lower value. 
and Q3 plus 1.5 times interquartile range gives you the upper limit, right? So anything in between will come in the modified box. So this is the, the modified box which we have. Since we are specifying the outliers, perfect. So what you see here is that these quarters actually divide the data elements into four equal number of elements in each group. Okay, so we'll have 45 in each group. Do you see that? Almost correct. So 45, 90, and then 90 is 180. So that makes sense to you. So 45 in each group. Okay. Now since there is higher concentration here so we get them squeezed up perfect and they're lesser here so that's the kind of data which we have so i hope this concept is clear quartiles once again divide the whole data into four equal equal groups in this example every quartile range has 45 elements right and interquartile range is difference between q3 and q1 from lowest datum to Q1 is first quartile, this is second quartile, third quartile, and fourth or upper quartile. And these are called the outliers. So with that, we'll conclude this particular video. Make suggestions, and if you like and subscribe, that'll be great. Thanks and all the best.